Hello everyone. We're having some beautiful weather here today so I thought I'd do another garden update. This is the shade garden and it's doing really well this year. We've got almost all of it mulched. There's just a little bit down at the end to do. Uh, the first couple rows here is the broccoli which looks like it's starting to head out very very early. Could be because of the extreme hot spell we had. Look at the giant worm. They just love these wood chips. There's worms everywhere in them. Anyway, uh, we plant. We bought these ones as sets this year because we got a late start. But uh, we're going to start some more by seed of our own and get them started really soon so that we'll have a fall crop or maybe late summer. The next couple rows of the garden is the early cabbage and it's doing really really well. What I like about planting this garden is that the front part of the garden gets more sun, usually late in the afternoon. In the back of the garden, it stays in the shade, so we get a graduated harvest. The plants at the front are always much larger, and as you can see, they get a little bit smaller as they go back. But by the end of the season, the ones on the back are producing just fine. Then the next row from here back, in the middle is the late cabbage. That's why it's quite a bit smaller. These next couple of rows are cauliflower and they're doing well but they grow much slower than the early cabbage does. And you'll notice there's some weeds in here because what we did for this garden was we made our rows in the soil and we planted our plants and then we put cardboard down in between the rows and piled the wood chips on top and then we just brought them back around. So there's no paper or, wood or cardboard in between where the plants are. But these weeds are so easy to pull out. The soil's nice and soft. It just comes out so easily that it doesn't take long to get caught up on the weeding. Which will be a project for this weekend. Then we've got our lettuce which is ready to start harvesting now. There's about a row and a half of leaf lettuce and a little bit of red lettuce and then I think there's a couple of butter crunch over at the back. It looks just beautiful. We've had some cooler weather there last week and I really like that. We finally got some rain and that made all the gardens start growing well. It's been a dry spring overall. Back here, we put in a few bean plants that we had left over just to finish off the row. I was curious to see how they would do being in such a shady area, but they're looking really nice. So based on how these came up so well and were looking nice, I've planted the next row and a half in the soil here with uh, beans. And I saw some starts just starting to sprout yesterday. I don't see them right now. I have to get down and have a look. Anyway, after that, there's a row of beets, or I think a row and a half of beets, and then some carrots. And we're going to finish filling this in with wood chips hopefully in the next week or so. And then my comfrey has spread and gone crazy all around the compost pile too. This is the small garden patch out behind the barn. And we had planted this earlier in the season, or I should say hubby and the kids planted it earlier in the season and they had filled it with carrot seed. Um, but after a few weeks there was nothing coming up. and. I wasn't sure if it was because we hadn't had much rain and maybe it was too dry or if they hadn't planted them properly. And 
he showed me how the kids had planted them and basically what happened is they ended up not making the rows deep enough because this just had wood chips put on it last year you still have to go down a good four to six inches to get to the good soil and what they were planting in was the darker wood chips that were just starting to compost so nothing was sprouting so we made new rows in this and I made sure that they got right down to the soil and we put in three rows of beans and you can see that they're just starting to come up here these are um, uh, bush green, uh, bush beans. I think they're the tender green, and they're all starting to pop up. I can see little ones all along the row coming up, and then the fourth row we put in were radishes that are up, and then this last row on the edge, we found some old peanuts seeds that I had that I must have bought and forgot to plant one year. And I don't know if they're too old to sprout or not, but we thought it would be fun to give it a try. So that's what's in this last row. I don't see any sign of them yet, but you never know. The kids will be real excited if they do come up. So definitely, if you're doing the Back to Eden style gardening, you absolutely have to make sure that you're getting things planted right down, either in the soil or on top of the soil, I find works just fine. And that's how I did it last year. I put the seeds on top of the soil, and then I covered them up with a, with a little bit of the wood chips, and as they grew up, then I moved the sides in to cover around the plants, and it worked just fine. But if they get planted in the wood chips and it's too dry for them to sprout, and they just don't have enough nutrients if they do sprout unless the roots get down to the, where the soil level is. After a few years when these have composted really well, then you won't need to go down as deep. Just This garden on the hill, we just tilled up there, I think it was last weekend and planted. And that's why we didn't plant this one last year, and that's why the crabgrass is so bad in here. But we're hoping to make this the next garden that gets mulched because it's really hard to till. It's got so much rock in it and the weeds are really bad. So we've got the cardboard all ready to put down in between these rows in here. And what we've done in here is there's two rows of zucchini. That The hills are here but the plants aren't coming up quite yet because like I said they were only planted a few days ago. So I think there's... where's there one? There's six hills in each row, so 12 hills of zucchini. We love zucchini, we go through a lot of it, and the chickens love it too. So. And then there's, I think there's four rows of cucumbers in here. I don't see any coming up yet, but hopefully soon. And then there's three rows of pumpkins. We planted the jack-o'-lantern and I think the other one was, was it Connecticut Field, I think? I'd have to check my notes again. And I just saw one of the pumpkins is coming up. So our kids would be really happy to see that. And up here on the top part... Oh, there's some more pumpkins. Good. There's some in here, and another one over here. These were planted by one of our youngest daughters. And she had a great time helping me with that. And up here, if, if you remember a few years ago, I put in a bunch of strawberry plants. But they never did very well because of all the droughts that we had. And this is one of the driest areas of the yard. So they were spread all over the place. And we thought it would be really, really hard to mulch around those. So we dug them all up. We tilled this up and we put cardboard down and then mulched it really well and then we dug and made holes and transplanted the strawberries in so I didn't think I'd get much from them this year and there's still some weeds coming up from where the holes were dug to put them in but they're doing well and there are berries the kids are out here picking berries every day they're small ones but I'm hoping that next year the plants will be much larger and happier more established and that we'll get a larger crop 
And as the runners come off, I want to expand the strawberry patch further down the garden. The potatoes are actually doing pretty good this year. Uh, it really needs to be weeded again because what we had been doing is going up and down the rows and hand weeding around the potatoes. You can see the weeds are much shorter on this side than they are on that side. And that's because we had finished the first four rows and it started on the fifth, about halfway down we had gotten. But after this last rain we had, it's just all those weeds have started to shoot up again. But we're trying to keep them down as much as we can until the potatoes can get tall enough to crowd them out. And compared to the last few years, they're doing really well, so we hope we get a good harvest this year. And as I turn around behind us, we've been able to get this area mulched. Now this area here, there's nothing in here yet, but I was planning to put more cucumbers in. Over here, we've got some watermelons that we started. Over here, we planted three rows of potatoes in the wood chips to see how they would do. There's a row of whites, a row of reds, and then a row of blues. And they took a little longer to come up from the wood chips than the do in the soil in the main garden. But once they start coming up, we had a good rain that soaked them really well. They're doing great. So I'm really looking forward to see how the harvest goes this year. I have friends who used to grow the uh, potatoes by just putting them on the ground and then putting straw over top of them and then raking the straw back and balm, just picking potatoes up and they did great. So I think they should grow just fine. If they do, we're hoping that by fall we can mulch our main garden and then as we dig up the potatoes, we'll mulch an area and plant them in the fall. Hi, Mommy. Hi, honey. It's like, a, it's like an animal trap. Yeah, just a minute. What? Over here along the bean trellis, there's some volunteer potatoes that came up through the mulch that we had down. These are from a garden a few years ago and they're doing really well so obviously we all know that planting potatoes in the fall works just fine. They got lots of them coming up in the other garden as well that were left last year. Mommy, how come just, what is it honey? How come there's a garden here? How come someone made a garden here a whole a long year, year ago? Well we made this one here when we first moved in before you were born. Along here we planted our yellow pole beans that we grew last year. Our first planting only two beans came up and they're really not doing well. Something keeps eating them. And we replanted and I still don't see any sign of them yet so I don't know if the seed's no good or if it just was too dry. I think the first planting was too dry and the second planting I'm we're trying to keep it wetter and I'm hoping that and the next few days something comes up. If not, then I'm going to plant my peas here because I have lots of my pea seed. The tomato garden is doing pretty good. Um, they're growing pretty slow this year, but we had some really, really cold weather um, that slowed them down. Our temperatures were down to about 5 degrees at night and it was really windy. And tomatoes really don't like anything under 10 degrees Celsius. So that slowed them down, but now that the hot weather's starting again and we've had some rain, they seem to be perking up. We've got uh, one, two, three, I think four rows of the Heinz Paste tomatoes, and then there's a row of Bonnie Best, and I think there's a row of some yellow slicers. I'm trying to remember, I think they're Golden Queen. Then we've got some old Germans that we're going to be putting in today. And then we'll finish the last row off with um, those husk tomatoes. Some of them you can see are a little stressed, a little bit yellowed. It started after the cold weather came. But other ones look really nice. They're starting to get darker in the center again. So hopefully they'll perk up soon and we'll be able to get the stakes in to get the to get them tied up. That's it for now everyone. Hope your guards are doing great. Bye for now.